boss level stars Frank Grillo as Roy Pulver, a retired military operative who awakes to find himself on a never-ending time loop every time he dies. Throughout the course of this movie, he has to find out what is happening and who is doing this to him, while trying to get back the love of his life. So, this is like a combination of Happy Death Day and Deadpool. You know, you've got this never-ending time loop every time he dies, and then you got some really graphic scenes and uh, also some pretty funny moments as well. And it's action-packed, it feels like a video game in a sense, but most importantly, you have Frank Grillo narrating over the top of it as well. Sure, it's not the most unique film, but it's just like a popcorn flick. It's just dumb fun, and Frank Grillo is just great in this, both through the narration, but also on camera as well. You know, he reminds me so much of Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. Pretty similar acting and style, I would say. And Frank Grillo says some pretty deep stuff in this movie. Um, there was this one scene at the bar, you know, he's died multiple times, and he's reminiscing about shit. And then he just says, through a bullet going through his cheek, he had a taste of like a ribeye steak. And you know what that was? And you know what the reason why? It was because of the bullet cooking his tongue from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, what the fuck? But I feel like the best, one of the best aspects of this movie is that it just feels like a video game. Think Hitman 2016, for example, you know, the open world, uh, more modern Hitman, you know, it's, it's just like seeing him find, like seeing him dying and just finding new opportunities to kill his enemies and also surviving was a really fun watch. <laughs> At one point he just shoots himself randomly because he knew he wasn't going to get anywhere <laughs> And then his uh, enemies just stood there like, what the fuck, okay uh, <laughs> Because they didn't know But the thing is, he's doing all this with a purpose Which ties in directly with the story And here's where I have a lot of mixed feelings about Now this film tries very hard to tie in with the story, you know, with um, Frank Grillo's character, Roy Pulver's uh, ex-wife, and uh, his uh, son, you know, but, and at this point, like, some could say that it's pretty good because it, it, it shows, like, variety and that most uh, movies like this don't really do that and don't really spend that much time on the story to make it into something, but it also could be seen as kind of bad because, like, they kind of force it down your throat in a way. Like we get a big portion of this movie just with dumb fun and just Frank Grillo killing himself over and over again. <laughs> and then we have a big portion of just storytelling, storyline, and just emotional shit. I mean, we all know that <laughs> stories in these movies aren't particularly that good. But in this case, it wasn't that terrible. For me, I still have mixed feelings about it, mostly positive because I didn't really mind it, but I can also see how a lot of people can just straight out just hate it, you know, because they're just hit there for like, just to see, <laughs> just to have a lot of fun, you know? And there might be people who don't really give a shit about the story in movies like this. Basically, go into this expecting a fun time, but also a story and deep emotional factor kind of uh, uh, hidden within as well. I also love that this movie has a sense of mystery, like at the very beginning you kind of ask the movie a lot of questions, like why are these people chasing him and trying to kill him, you know, like does he feel anything when he dies? Thankfully most of these are kind of answered so you aren't really left in the dark most of the time, but some deeper ones still aren't really answered. Like if he dies and resets, what happens to the other people, you know, do they just continue on with their lives, they just die with him, uh, like, are there alternate realities? Like, this part isn't really touched on too much, so we can only speculate. Maybe he's just living in a dream world and none of this is real. Maybe. Even though a lot of things don't make sense and the movie kind of struggles with its pacing, like, 
the scenes don't really go in order they're kind of like jumbled across from each other like one scene happens first and then you see bits of that scene later on uh you know what it's it was still a fun watch and there were some pretty entertaining characters like that guy who was getting carjacked all the time and the uh, I am Guan Ying girl and also Roy number two <laughs> but for the most part I mean uh, Frank Grillo still carries it and I gotta say I love but at the same time hate how the ending is very open-ended you know normally in movies like this it's very clear-cut what happens but this one it just it forced me to like after the movie actually search up shit and just be interested like what actually happened you know and honestly hoping for a sequel and movies such as this don't often do that so I respect that a lot so boss level I'm going to give this movie 3.5 ribeye steaks out of 5 Guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Like and sub if you enjoyed. And as always, feel free to check out any of my previous videos. Until next time.